Hey guys, do you ever know that you have a pretty long flight and you don't want to be bored on it? So what you do is you install Red Dam Redemption 2 on your Steam Deck so that you can be a cowboy 30,000 feet in the air in 2023. And then you launch it and uh, Rockstar says... What, so I bought the game with my own money and I can't even play it because you think I'm going to copy the files? That only happened seven times, and that leads me into my main subject today, DRM. Um, well, uh, I think I've made it to the back rooms by accident, so I guess I'll use my deck to illuminate my face. So DRM, it's a fun thing. It's called Digital Rights Management, and what it does is every time you launch the game, most of the time, or sometimes every now and then, like every few days, it just makes sure you have an internet connection, even though you're playing a single player game, because it wants to make sure that you're not a pirate. 99% of the time, it doesn't stop piracy, it just makes people want to be the arg matey sail the high seas type. And to be honest, it pisses me off a lot. I paid for Red Dead Redemption 2, and I can't even play it on the plane because you think I'm gonna pirate the game? You're really gonna treat your paying valued customers like criminals? That's not very nice. Another thing about DRM is that a lot of the time, the main one on PC, Denuvo, can cause performance issues, which is not very fun. Because if I'm gonna have bad FPS because you're so scared that I'm gonna pirate the game, come on, man, that's so stupid. So to combat this, what I'm gonna do is you can go to my website, Shane's totally legal and obtainable free video games dot gov where you can download any video game like Red Dead Redemption 2 onto your computer for completely free. I promised you can trust me. I'm a whole new man. 